Kate, day away from uh, the race and his first appearance, Gordon Lord Byron's first appearance here in uh, Australia. How, how does someone like you feel about the way things are going? Um, I'm excited. I mean, we've done everything we can do with him at this stage. Um, he looks fantastic. He feels great. Um, we've everything checked out. So, you know, it's all systems go. So just fingers crossed for tomorrow. And aside from the temperature, I suppose, the grey skies and the wet weather, you'd be, you'd be feeling very at home here in Australia at the moment. Yeah, well, we had um, Morris Logue looking after us in Melbourne. He promised when we got to Sydney it would be fabulous weather and you can depend on it and it's going to be lovely. And it hasn't stopped raining since we got here. <laughs> but yeah, the ground at least, is there's going to be a little bit of a given it, I presume, tomorrow. But um, it'll suit him either way, so he's very versatile. He, he's never missed a place on a heavy track, though. No, um, he won on very, very soft ground in Paris. He's group one in the Prix de la Fare. So, um, you know, he can get through it. He, he prefers it good, but he can get through the, the heavy grounds too. And you ride him in all his work uh, bar the odd occasion. And how does he feel to you since he's arrived? Great, yeah, he's really good. We, we got up here on Sunday morning up to Sydney to Canterbury and we galloped him on Tuesday. Um, I was very happy with him. So we've... Um, We've just got to keep him, keep him wrapped up safe tonight and hopefully everything will go well tomorrow. But there's uh, one little issue that you've had to deal with, the uh, blasted Australian mosquito, the mozzie, is causing him a few issues. Yeah, he must have really sweet blood or something, I don't know. We didn't have any down in Melbourne, but um, since we got here he's just got a few bites, but they're not, they're not at him, they're not sore and he's not irritated by them, so um, we won't worry too much about that. Just a little friendly welcome from our friendly local mozzie. Yeah, we was a bit of banter on Twitter about it because um, Ian McKay wrote about it and the Irish guys were saying, oh, it's not like the midgets back home and all this. That's what we have, these midgets bite them, but the mosquitoes leave marks on them. That's the only difference, you know. And, and yourself, uh, the, the two races he's here to uh, perform in, the, the George Ryder and also the TJ Smith, uh, which do you think would be his, his better race, the sprint race or the 1500? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, initially the 1500 was for his prep race, so, but it's still a very valuable race, so we're still going out, you know, all guns blazing and hoping for the best. Um, the sprint is going to be sharp, but he's won over six. He has a great turn of foot. So, I mean, we're just going to have to be optimistic about every decision. And he's not fully confirmed for either Doncaster or the TJ Smith, you know, for sure yet. So um, it's probably more than likely going to be the TJ Smith. And like I said, he's had a fantastic race over six when he won in Haydock in his sprint back in September. So if he could do something similar to that, you know, you'd have to be confident.